Welcome to the Pisa Baptistry, or Baptistry of St. John to give it its full name. This building has in many ways been overshadowed by the more famous cathedral and leaning tower. But the baptistry is really something special, which I'm sure you'll discover. The baptistry was the second building to be constructed in the Piazza di Miracoli, after the cathedral but before the tower. It was built to be a worthy addition to the cathedral and a further sign of the city's wealth and magnificence. The structure is almost 55 meters high, which is actually slightly higher than the leaning tower, at a mighty 107 meters in circumference. It is the largest baptistry in the whole of Italy, so in scale, it certainly delivered on the city's ambitions. The construction of this magnificent building started in the mid-12th century as a replacement for an older baptistry. Inscriptions on a pillar inside the building tells us that it was built by the architect known as Diotisalvo the same man who built the church of the San Sepolcro, located in central Pisa. Just like many of the other structures here at Piazza di Miracoli, construction took a longer time than expected. The baptistry stood finished in the mid-14th century, as several events interrupted the construction. The fact that the construction spanned over 200 years actually shows in the way it's designed. If you look at the lower levels of the baptistry outside, you will see an open gallery supported by classical pillars and round arches, very similar to the cathedral and the leaning tower. This is a typical sign of Italian Romanesque architecture. However, if you look at the upper levels, you will no longer see the same round smooth figures, but instead very sharp angles the arches are also pointing upwards towards the sky. This is a typical sign of Gothic architecture, a style which became very popular during the later stages of the construction phase. While the vast majority of the construction project was founded by the city of Pisa, rumors say it was partly founded by the citizens themselves. In 1163, an order was given that on the first day of every month, every family of Pisa should pay one denaro to the construction project. As you can see, the outside of the baptistry is decorated by several beautiful ornaments and sculptures. If you look at the portal in front of you, you can see that it is flanked by two classical columns covered in beautiful relief. Just above the entrance, you can see a relief depicting several episodes in the life of St. John the Baptist. On top of that relief, several smaller sculptures can be seen. The middle one represents Christ, flanked by the Madonna, St. John and several angels and evangelists. The entrance is crowned by a large statue of the Madonna with the child. The outside of the baptistry is highly decorative, but the same is not true for the inside. You will discover that unlike the cathedral, the baptistry is surprisingly plain and lacks decoration. The few decorative elements that do exist are however extraordinary. The baptistry is known for its brilliant stained glass windows and its massive baptismal font. The octagonal font at the center dates from 1246 and is so large it could qualify as a swimming pool. This due to the fact that the baptism conducted here was done by immersion. In the middle of the font you can find a beautiful bronze statue depicting Saint John the Baptist. Another piece to keep an extra eye on is the beautiful pulpit. The pulpit was sculpted in the mid-13th century by Nicola Pisano, father of Giovanni Pisano, the artist who made the pulpit in the cathedral. If you look at both of them, you will see distinct similarities in the way they are made. 
Both are made up of a number of pillars and several pieces of beautiful relief. The one in the baptistry depicts several scenes from the life of Christ. However, what the baptistry is most known for is not any tangible feature. It is famous for its perfect acoustics. One can stand below the edge of the dome and sing a note for several seconds, and the sound will travel around and around the dome for many more seconds. Likewise, applause create a similar remarkable echo. This is usually demonstrated by the staff on a regular basis, so make sure you don't miss hearing this wonderful phenomenon. If you're looking for a good camera shot, I can recommend climbing up to the upper balcony. The windows there can provide an interesting view over the cathedral and the Leaning Tower. Today, the baptistry, together with the rest of Piazza dei Miracoli, has become Pisa's and one of Italy's most important tourist sites. What many people don't know is that the baptistry, just like the cathedral and the tower, leans. It only leans around 0.6 degrees towards the cathedral, so it can be hard to spot for the human eye. 